All right, we are off with the match. Gonna start off at Smashville. Bellsworth sporting Ness. Xenon sporting Rosalina and Luma. We've seen a lot of Rosalina tonight. Top tier. It's true. What's well, the projectile when you have Luma? Well, it depends on where Luma's at. That's true. You could just, you know, Nana her like I do. Zyga. Yes. Oh. Like, just, just look at how many more options she has and how much safer everything is when she has that. It's, it's true. It's crucial to get rid of it to beat her. It really is. Yeah, exactly. Because as long as you have it, you can even just send it for most of the attacks, keep your distance. Until things like that happen, and then you, and you lose it. You got to play a lot safer. For, uh, what is it, 18 seconds? Yeah, something like that. It's always nice when she gets the weak one right away, though, so that you can just destroy it. Oh, that move. I forgot about that projectile absorption. It's good. It's one of the things that makes her so annoying. Exactly, because it's just so huge. Characters with strong projectile game, it's worthless, because it's just, like, lagless, and it just sucks everything in. Oh! Wanted to charge for a home run, but did not get it. Luma! Calls, calls Luma back just in time. I don't even know if Luma's a he or a she. It's a star. I don't understand. It should be invincible. Well, it's a man-made star, technically. Keeping the very even percentages, not letting one way or the other go. Very nice hit, though, is keeping Bellsworth on the ropes. Nice choice, grabbing onto the ledge instead of going to the stage. And... Oh! Oof. Had to break up being in the middle there, was just not in a good scenario, being between both Luma and Rosalina. Thought there was going to be another projectile, but Bellsworth changed it up with a quick dash attack. Now we see both of them having rage, so either one can kill with a good solid hit. Solid there we are. There that is one angry Rosalina. She mad. That, that she looks she like mad. an angry star. See that, see that rage combo. Oh, rolls right into the forward smash, gets hit on out. Oh, see, how much, see how much lighter the green weak Luma is? She gets knocked back so much farther. It's nice when she gets that one for the other person. And I feel like they combo a little different too. They don't hit it quite the same. Oop. There goes the green Luma. Gonna keep on himself now at the moment, which is possible. Very nice choice of grab. And... Oh! At a poor angle for that. That's a tough spot to be. 1-0 in favor of Xenon, going to go into the second round now. It's going to change up controls really quick for just a brief moment. Which one of these is net? Oh, Ben Hayes, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Can't, can't, uh, can't Rosalina just eat Ness's up E with her yep. absorb? Poor Ness. It's a very good It's a very game thing. free gimpet from the sound of it. It's gonna go Kirby. Hey, kicks. I want to see a full charged hammer, Bellsworth. Nothing less. Slight port switching there. Playing pretty defensively at the moment, trying to figure out, okay, how do we get in here? Uh, roll, roll, roll. Fight the power. It pains me so much to watch people roll into people like that, because you could just throw out a smash every time. It's true. 
It's a really, it's really risky unless you know you're gonna, unless you know they're doing something slow. Or unless it's to escape. That's good though, that's good though, get in. That's where Kirby likes to be. It's true. Kirby's gonna have to put in good work if he wants to be able to get this kill here. Quick grab, good back throw. This Rosa doesn't seem to care that she has no Luma though, she's just staying aggro. Could it be it? it nope, nope, we almost is it. Ooh, solid. Hits with an up smash, knocks him on out. Forward smash, though, returns the favor, gets Lu Lu ah, Rosalina and Luma. I was just like saying Lumalina. Lumalina. <laughs> He'll just keep jumping into forward up airs. Ooh. That Kirby just can't get in. Smart. Very nice. Hits Luma, gets that distance that he needs between the two. Now he can just focus right on Rosalina. Ooh, very nice. Grabs. Got has Luma back. Keeping the good distance though. Now I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I break into this again? Oh, Kirby. Yep, there we go. Oh, almost, almost kills with the up smash. One more goal to do it. Oh, but the grab comes out quick. It's close. They both got the salty superpowers. It can be anybody's game at the moment. That X Factor. Oh. You one strong attack and they just explode. Oh, rolls right Ooh. into it. One to one. We're gonna go into the final round here between these two. See a breath of relief there from Bellsworth. It only does it in melee, but uh, you can do it in brawl. Uh, under specific conditions where you have an upward angled ceiling because it allows you to move out of the way of the invisible wall that appears. There are ways to do Not it in other games. Not even in PM. It's, in PM, you can do it as long as you have the same conditions. Yeah. Uh, if, the, if the windmill is still the same as Brawl, it'll always work on, on Pokemon. That's the easiest stage to do it on. There's not very many other opportunities where you get a ceiling like that in turning. So now we know about Kirby's back throw. Cool. All right. Ooh, Lilac Cruise. Not a stage often seen because most people ban it. But <laughs> no, I stage, personally enjoy it. Well, this stage is actually really good for both of these characters, though. Uh, they don't have straight shot recoveries. They kind of float. So it makes it a lot, it's a lot better for them for uh, recovering and gifting people. Because the pressure I is would on. see it a little bit more problematic for Rosalina just because just her because recovery her yeah. just goes at that huge angle. But because it's so big and she's kind of floaty, it's a little bit better than most characters with that kind of recovery. As long as you can plan for it, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Whereas if you were Fox or Falcon or someone that has a straight shot, 
it makes it very difficult to recover against characters that are floaty. You should always ban the stage if you're playing as one of those characters against the floaty every time. Like nope. I don't even care if it's the first match of the set. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just some back and forth play here, trying to figure out, okay, where are they going to be? Let's get that hit. Xenon's got the hit, though, between that. Oh! Oh! oh that was almost a beautiful spike. Roll, roll, roll! Fight the power! Back and forth. Can't, can't oh, touch her. almost gets go. the grab. There you go. Let him roll into you. Yeah, just smash him, please. Very nice. Gets Luma right on out. Put in the work that he, he needs to at this small time. Though. And it's gone. And, oh, there's the shield. Just rolls, tries to get the grab. If not, we'll roll again. Oh, that sounds confusing. We'll roll again. It does. It does. But it happens a lot in this game. It does. It's a different mechanic. It's, it's a lot uh, usage. It's a lot safer option. So I mean like Ooh, uh, very nice. You're not gonna you're not gonna punish it for them for going into you unless you predict it almost every time. Which I mean it's not that hard to predict either though. It's like any other thing that you want to do. Red jumps, Oof. red rolls. Very nice though, hits all the loot, that up smash, gets the kill. And... No, I feel like this Kirby, he's playing smart with his back air game, but he's afraid to go in on her, and you have to. You yeah. have to go in on Rosalina. You can't be waiting. She people away. She loves it. It's her favorite. Oh, works on the Luma, and very nice. Smart but focused a little too much yeah. there. Kind of forgot for a second that Everybody's Rosalina's fighting right Rosalina. <laughs> They are a tag team. What do you? Oh, very nice. It's the tip of that. If he was at like 50, 60 percent, that would have killed there. That little bit of damage makes a difference. Ooh, good timing with the shield. And, oof. There we go. That's the back air that was needed. Unfortunately, not enough to kill. But, follow up with an up smash is going to all be fine. 33% though on Kirby. Really? Really? It's, it's a pretty even matchup. It just gives Kirby a slight, slight combo advantage, making his combos ever so much more powerful with every hit that he takes. But the same could be said for the Oof. Luma, or the Rosa Luma. Correct, because even with a low percentage can do what needs to be done. Yeah, that's, that's why the even percent game is rough. I mean, they're, they're, do, they're doing just as much damage to themselves just Ooh. for hitting you unless they do a combo. I just realized. Was it not playing or something? Uh, oh. That too. Very nice though, is just gets a quick hop over so that it doesn't have to worry about it anymore. She does the Kirby. She's doing damage to herself essentially. Right. See, he could probably kill her with an F smash now just because of that. F smash or up smash, and he's gonna yep. look for oppor either opportunity here soon. Whereas if he was at 30% like before, it wouldn't do anything. I mean, they wouldn't go anywhere. Oh, oh! Rolls right into her up smash. Gets hit on out. Puts it 2-1. Very solid match between the both of these people. 